This is an episcope, uh, also known as an pedioscope or an opaque projector, also art projector. Now this model is a Vistarama Mark II, probably made in the 1960s, early 70s. We've got uh, a lovely lens on the front here that might need a little bit of oiling. And underneath, we've got some light bulbs. Now, I found an advert for this in the Sunday Times. I think it was the 14th of November, 1971. So we'll take a look at that in a second. But essentially, an opaque projector shines light onto an object underneath the base here. And that light is then reflected from a mirror through the lens and onto whatever your surface might be, a wall or something. So you can see here that we've got our rubber duck <laughs> sat underneath our episcope and lights either side are shining on it and that light is then bounced off the mirror and through our objective lens out onto whatever surface we have. It's kind of like a reverse camera obscurer, isn't it? Or maybe not. <laughs> Now the bulbs in this are pretty dim. They're 240 watt incandescent bulbs. I'm currently projecting a watch onto the wall. It should say it's about 5.57 it looks like. We're gonna wait till it gets dark so that we can actually see this, but we might switch out the bulbs for LED ones. Hopefully they're a bit more efficient and won't provide so much heat. This thing is getting very, very warm and I worry for my watch. So this is the newspaper, the Sunday Times, 14th of November, 1971. And here it is, the Vistarama Mark II. The Vistarama, the new improved ultra powerful projector. Not really ultra powerful. So we've got a powerful projector in full color. Well, that is true. It just reflects what's there, doesn't it? Well, it projects what's being reflected. So direct projection of any object to a gigantic size. I'd hardly say gigantic. Dozens of home, business and professional uses, conferences, lectures, entertainment, nature study, collectors. This Vistarama Mark II projector will make a living stage of any wall. Just place it over any photograph, pin up, pin up. My word. Drawing, magazine, illustration, advertising, poster, gem, stamp, coin, jewel, re, <laughs> fingerprint, banknote, signature. It will even project living insects, animals, fishes, machines in action, and functioning watch me mechanisms. Oh my God, that's exactly what I was doing with it. Through the pa a powerful mirror and lens system in gi giant format. Okay. That is great. I mean, look at all these other things in here. Ooh la la. <laughs> wow. Microscope and dissecting set for £2.45. Right, so it's night time now. You can probably see on that uh, watch that it says half past 10. I'm going to speak a bit quieter as well. Now, I could probably brighten this up a bit to make it seem a bit more what it look like, looks like to me in person. It doesn't look half bad, but we are running those 40 watt light bulbs. So let me take them out and I'll pop an LED bulb in. Some of these LED bulbs, they are, don't know if that's in focus, but uh, 6,000 Kelvin, 12 watts, E14. Um, it doesn't say a lumens value on these, I'm going to assume brighter than that thing. Ooh, they're pretty warm still. Luckily that uh, laden frost effect is, <laughs> is helping me here. And these are our replacements. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Apparently not, it's uh, lefty tighty. Let's see how bright that is. Ooh. So that is a pretty significant difference. I haven't changed the settings on the camera at all. So that looks really good. God, look how late it's getting. 
let's put some other things under there. I've got some interesting stuff to look at. So that there is a Stig of the Dump badge, but I popped that in there because it has some white on it. So I thought it might sort of show up a bit more and it does. It looks really good. I felt I kind of had to put this one in, but it isn't the really interesting stuff. So being able to project a display, now you can tell that I've never even used this display because it's got the sample text on there, but being able to use a display is pretty interesting. So I've tried all sorts of things. I've tried, not that that's in focus. I've tried a little LCD display and that works. Um, we can also try out a little electronic thing. Now the LEDs are on that, but you cannot see them at all because they're sort of blown out a little. But it's a nice clear picture. Now the other, really interesting thing that I wanted to show you. You can see these are, it is actually on, it's just blown out by that light, is this. Hopefully it's for pieces. So that is the, by the, well, the BCD crap clock being projected onto my wall. But the really cool bit about this is that I can turn the projector off and that light still reflects through and goes through that lens. And they're bright enough that they stay on and you can see them very, very clearly. There's enough contrast there. Now, why is that interesting? Well, that display, that BCD crap clock, it runs at around one milliamp, maybe less using the LEDs at three volts. They're really efficient. Now it's currently running off 3.6 volts on that battery pack. So I'm really excited to see if I can make a good project out of this and have a constantly projected binary crap clock on my wall. In fact, I wonder how far back we can pull this. Let's see if we can actually get that gigantic format. Well, not really gigantic, but bigger than the PCB I built. So for photographs like this, which I imagine was probably its primary purpose, um, you wouldn't have seen these in classrooms, I wouldn't have thought. They're just not powerful enough. You'd probably want something in the thousands of watts. Whereas this, <laughs> this right there, that's just two watts. That's me and my brother. So uh, yeah, so what, it's 24 watts for these LED bulbs in there. And I think that works all right. So that's just been a, a fun little look at the Vistarama Mark II. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, I'll speak to you all again soon.